Uh, hi YouTube, what's up? Uh, Glitch64 here, and today I am going to show you how to make Mario on Excel, 8-bit Mario. So here's one I prepared earlier, and this is the this is what I'm going to be relying heavily on my previous work. All right, so what I like to do is I like to um these uh cells are much smaller than the ones I used to do this one. I don't know why, just uh. I don't know. Uh, I was that one. I did at the school at my school because I was bored as hell. So I started doing Mario in there on the computers, which uh, I don't know. Just you know. Uh, so anyway, this is how you uh, make Mario. So first, you can go. Uh, it doesn't matter where you start really. Just make sure you have enough room to fit them all on one screen. And what you want to do is first make his hand. So we're gonna go from E three to G three, and then go down. So you got three, four, and five. And you're gonna color it in I don't like to do like a pure yellow. I just like to do sort of like that. Now these are gonna be very different. So if you wanna if you wanna use this as a vantage point, it's on the screen if you wanted to pause right then. Anyway, back to R1. Then I put two here. I'm gonna use this. This is tan. Alright, so it doesn't look like much now, but you know, we'll get there. Okay, now you want to go to F8 through... Yeah, okay, basically you want to go through to F8. So, F8, 1, 2, 3. Alright. Now you want to go one up, one across, and one up. One up, one across, and one up. There's Mario's very crooked, very crooked looking nose. <laughs> Alright, then you've got two tan. Um, hang on. Yeah, right next to it, you've got two tan uh, here. And that's his eyes. Alright, we're going to take a break from that and work on his cap. So you want to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. So, go from the second one here, and have, I think it was two spaces, yes, two spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that is going to be his red cap, but we're also going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, okay, so now... That I've realized I've done something wrong. Should have done that. There we go. Now I do that. Now you do that. Okay, so there's his hat. Feeling good so far. Uh, remember, if you don't want to look like this, you can change the cell size and that will change the length of stuff. Let's see. I'm just going to do a basic. You can do it in your own way. Um, Right, now you want to have one yellow, one tan, one yellow. Yellow. Tan. Yellow. Now this is going to start forming his mustache, as you can see. Now you want to have three more across. Like so. Then you also want to paint this one the same. And, uh, got his mustache. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on his left foot. So count one, two, three, four down from the edge of his hand. One, two, three, four. And then you want to do one, two, three, four, I think. Yes, four. No, five. <laughs> My mistake. <coughs> And then you want to do three. And there's your foot. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we have three by five here. Three by five yellow. So go here. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. And that is all yellow. Like that. Now you want to make sort of a J with the, uh, whoops. <laughs> now you want to make a J 
with the uh, grey area. So what you want to do is take it another three across. And that's going to be all that. Then I think it's two and then one. Uh, let me check that. Yes. Three, two, one. And then you want to have two yellows near the two tans. Like so. You also want to fill this in. Like that. Now it's slowly forming his ear. Now you want to have an, uh, sort of a J without little top there. Like that. I'm not sure if they're supposed to connect. Uh, it's optional. You can leave a white spot there or you can't. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave this white. Stay true to my original. Eh, looks kind of odd. But, yeah. You know. Alright, next. Alright, so you've got that. Now you want to make this uh, little four section here under the J. You want to make that the same color. Alright, you've now got Mario's head, his arm, and his foot. Okay, now. There is uh, one more layer. From near the tip of his mustache... Which means you got to fill in those two. Now there's his head. Excuse me, I've got to sneeze. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, now what you want to do. One tan, one red, three tan. Alright. Starting from, I should mention, the base of his neck. A tan. A red. Three tan, then red. All right. After that, one, two, three, four, five tan. So you go here. One, two, three, four, five. It's got to go just past his hair. Now we're starting to get something that looks sort of like Mario. All right. Now you want to inverse that and have one red. Basically, leave out this tan here. One red. Three tan, one red. So we're gonna go red, tan, red. Now it looks like the overalls are like going over him. And then you wanna have basically tan all the way and past uh, the other one, like that. There you go. Okay, next you want to have f uh, five red. One, two, three, four, five red. Like that. And then you want to have one, two, three, four, five, six tan. So one, two, three, four, five, six tan. There we go. Next, you want to have yellow, two reds, and a yellow. You also you might want to make it from here and just put that red in advance, then put in your yellow, two reds, and a yellow. Thinking of just making it orange, actually. Sorry for this. It's just it looks too much, looks too dark. I don't really like it. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Shouldn't take a moment. If you want, just go back and look at the. Uh... Oh, I can just go forward, actually. Okay, much better. Alright, from there you want to have two reds, a tan, and another two reds. So what I could do is just do two reds, tan, two reds. Just make that all red, and pick the third one, and change it to tan. There you go. Now, you only need one cube, so I'm going to stretch, I'm going to stretch them out a little after I'm done here. 
Right, now I want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 reds coming out from the second part of your sword. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And when you've done that, I'll just put a little tan at the end. And you'll see why in a second. All right, then you want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine red. So to here, from the base of the foot. And then, you're going to, see, now you're starting to make the foot. Now we have three tan. One, two, three. Now you're starting to make his other foot. And before we go on, we're going to finish his foot, which just consists of... Yeah, two underneath what we did. Actually, three underneath what we did. So, what you do is go from here, like that. So, you have three, three, then one. From the last one. He has kind of a dilapidated foot, but yeah. And then you want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reds coming out of there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. I said like that. <laughs> hey. And then one, two, three, four. Like that, I think. Yeah, like that. Now I can pull them down a little. Not too much. I'm in a rush. You might want to keep it consistent when you're doing yours. I'm just in a big bit of a rush. So, yeah. Okay. Now if you want, scroll over them. Shove some borders on that. Or don't. You know, just uh, have it like this. There you go. Uh, there's Mario in uh, Microsoft Word. I mean, Excel. But now, I'm going to show you Luigi. Alright, first, this is a little bonus. First, you're going to take all the cells you can. And I don't know a quicker way of doing this. So, I'm first I'm going to make them all black. Almost done. There we go. Completely black background. Now, you'll notice that Luigi's cap is white, as are his overalls. So what you want to do is go over these parts. And this is why you want to have, um, this is why you want to have it in black. A black background, because otherwise the overalls and hat are just going to disappear. And it's not going to look as good. So. We're, got, we're basically doing what they, uh, the creators of Super Mario Brothers did back in the 19, 1980s. And that's just rehash the colors. Okay. All right. Now, all this brown has to be changed to green, as you can see. So, I'm going to choose this green. It's a nice looking green. I'm just going to use that. Now, you don't have to have these borders here. It probably looks worse with the borders. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. Now, all the tan has to be green. Which means his feet. His eyes, his moustache, and his... Uh, whatever this is. Shirt, jumpsuit. Who knows? That was probably unnecessary, that one there. 